lesson we'll be discussing maths.3.oa.2.6. So, we will be understanding division as an unknown factor problem. Should be a doozy. We'll find out. But, let's transition now. So, uh, let me teach ya. Let's start with example one, shall we? It says create a multiplication equation that you could use to solve 14 divided by 2 equals the unknown number. This is an equation editor problem, so the only thing that we are going to be working on is plugging in our answer there. It's a big box, but we really don't need all that space. Watch and find out. So we have 14. Ooh, it's moving. Divided by 2 equals what? Well, we need to know that multiplication and division, this is my signal for division, are inverse operations, meaning you can just flip them around. So we could write box times 2 equals 14. And what goes inside the box would be 7. So 7 times 2 equals 14. or 2 times 7 equals 14. Either one would work. I'm going to plug in this one, but either one would work. Example 2 says write a number in each box to create a true multiplication equation that could be used to solve 30 divided by 6 equals what? This is a grid response that stands for graphic response item display. Um, I'm not really sure how they're going to grade these on the FSA, but I'm going to teach you just to be sure that you know how to do it if they come up. So, <clears throat> what would go in here? Well, 30 divided by 6 equals what? That would be the same thing as what times 6 equals 30. And obviously, 5 times 6 equals 30. So, 5 should go in this box. 30 needs to go in this box because, again, multiplication and division are inverse operations also known as you can create fact families from them. That's all. Oh, one more thing. Notice I could have put five in this box, but with the graphic item, it was just asking me to write a number in here, and then I'm pretty sure that you would have to circle it. Example three. Whoa. Uh, before I start example three, this is a great time for me to put a link right here saying, if you're not very fluent with your multiplication tables, go check out this video. It will help you. It's a little bit difficult at first, but if you listen to this song like three times a day, every day, you will be a pro. All right, back to this one. What is a multiplication equation that can be used to solve 15 divided by 3 equals the unknown? So, again, multiplication and division are inverse operations. So, if we have 15 divided by 3 equals box rooney, the inverse would be box times 3 equals 15, or the unknown times 3 equals 15. What goes in the box? 3, 3 6, 9, 12, 15. Boom. That's a, sh that's a, if, that's from my song. Okay. <laughs> That's the melody to it. Um, all right, so I need something that says box times 3 equals 15, or community property 3 times box, or 3 times 5 equals 15. 15 times 3, that would be 45, and that is way too much. 3 times 15, that would be 45, and that's way too much, and that's not third grade. I told you the highest we're going to go is 10 times 10, unless it's a multiple of 10. 3 times box equals 15. 3 times box equals 15. We've got a match. What times 15 equals 3? That is not going to work. That would be going into fractions, and we don't do that in third grade. Um, and it doesn't equal the multiplication equation up there. So C is our answer. All right, folks, I got a surprise for you. This is the last one for this standard today. Um, it is a multi-select, and multi-select means that they will have more than one answer usually. The last one was multiple choice, only one answer. This one is multi-select, two or more, and you got to make sure you get them all correct in order to get the point for this. So, 
select all the equations that could be used to find 12 divided by 3 equals what? So I'm seeing a bunch of 3s and 12s. What I'm going to do for this one is just jot down all of the fact families that would go there. So I could have 12 divided by 3. I could have 12 divided by the unknown equals 3. I could do the opposite. The unknown times 3 equals 12. Inverse. The unknown times 3 equals 12. And I could do the commutative property of that. 3 times the unknown equals 12. You guys have been doing this since first grade with fact families with addition and subtraction. Easy as that. So what matches that? Do I have a 3 times 12? No. Do I have a 12 times 3? No. I'm sorry, 12 times box? No, I have a 12 divided by the unknown, but not a 12 times the unknown. Do I have 12 times 3? No. Do I have 3 times the unknown? Yes. Do I have the unknown times 3 equals 12? Yes. D, E. And there you have it, kids and teachers and parents. All right, folks, before I go, you know what time it is. It is time to leave you with some motivation and or inspiration. So this one comes in today from a really cool kid who I've got like mad props for. His name's Kid President. If you haven't searched him out on YouTube, you need to. He will crack you up and he will just fill your heart. So uh, what Kid President, one of the very many cool quotes that he's thrown out there is, give the world a reason to dance. So stop what you're doing and dance with me right now.